In the last video, I found a really unique place for oil to be leaking. Who would have thought I would have had this much oil in the front step of my van? If you want to know more about it, go back and watch the last video. But we're in Calgary, Alberta. Made a pit stop to see my friend Bruce, Van Life Jr. That's me and Junior. We bought some onesies. And today, before we leave town, I got to top up all of that oil that pissed out all over my floor. So that's what we're doing this morning. Welcome to our trip back to the mountains. I'm sure one of these fit in that diff. We're gonna need that, we're gonna need some paper towel. All right. So it's pretty easy to put gear oil in here. The gear oil goes up to that level and it'll overflow once it's at the level, of course, but it needs to be right there. So we're just gonna keep putting a little bit in until I know she's overflowing. So this thing was down about uh, half a liter, which is a ton when it comes to your rear differential fluid. I think there's only two and a half liters or something like that in the whole dip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would make sense because there was probably half of one of these on the front floor of my van of all places. Make sure you good and clean. Oh, yeah. bro, you are a rock star. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't be very good on toast, but whatever. Seat yourself, buddy. And uh, just a heads up around here. Yeah. There's screws everywhere. There's one right there. Right here in front of me, right on this side of the curb. There's a screw there. I see another one over there too. One right beside you there, on the other side of the crack. And it's pretty cool because you can just use the ratchet part to tighten things up. You don't need any extra fittings or anything like that. This little piece works perfect. That's it. We good? I think I lost my dog. Hey, Crazy, you're gonna ride. <laughs> Are you moving out? Hey, that's it? You moving out? Okay. See you later, buddy. Are you sure? Really? Oh, he was positive. He looked at me like, yeah, bro, I'm sure. <laughs> Peace out, Dad. Thanks, Junior. What's your YouTube channel, bro? Bruce Van Life Jr., man. Bruce Van Life Jr. I love it that you kept the Junior part in there. Bruce Van Life Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthie! You waited until my project was done before you came over because you knew oh, uh, it'll probably put you to work. That's what I do. <laughs> How you doing, Ruth? Good. How are you? <laughs> nice to see oh, you. Good to see you, too. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get to see you. Oh, watch your feet. Watch your feet. <laughs> Say bye, Cruzy. Say bye to everybody. <laughs> ah, it was nice to see Junior and Ruth. That was a good Turn little. Right. That was a good little pit stop here in Calgary. Uh, as soon as I pulled up and I seen Junior, I'm like, ah, oh, that was awesome. It was great meeting him. I had a chance to go for a bite to eat and talk for a little bit. It was awesome. A wee. Ah! are heading to the mountains. And look off there in the distance. Those are mountains, baby. Way over there. <laughs> oh, I miss the mountains. I was talking to the differential guy about that leak yesterday. And uh, yeah, I told him I was gonna be back on the island in about two weeks. But after seeing the mountains today, I just might full send it all away. Oh, cow's crossing. Cows on the run. Oh, the dust on this road. <laughs> I'm gonna drop some tire pressure out of here, man. These roads are bumpy. It's the first time I've had the chance to use this one. This is the, uh, the boulder tools. Let's give it a try. 
So that boulder one didn't work, so I'm gonna use the ARB one. I don't know why, it just wouldn't grip onto the pin. Like these things are fairly, fairly basic. Oh, does it ever feel good to be out here? Woohoo! <laughs> All summer, I've been missing the mountains. Sure is dusty, but man, does it ever feel good. More places need to do this. Shows you everywhere out here, and if there's any left over, which there is not. Um, last time I was here, they had maps. You grab the map and it'll tell you where you're allowed to camp, where you're not allowed to camp. It tells you what's public use, what's no camping, um, just tons of stuff in here. And the best thing about it is, if you don't have the map, they've marked this area so well. These areas are pretty cool, because right here we're in a little bit of a camp zone, and it tells you no campfires, no camping in this zone. But yet when we get up here, it'll tell you, okay, camping's allowed from this point forward. It's awesome, man. I think more places need to, uh, label their backcountry like this. It would cut out a lot of the guesswork and confusion for a lot of people. Now there's the sign that says camping and fires are permitted beyond this point. British Columbia, take notes. Y'all need to do that. That's epic. I don't know why this one here didn't work. Like the inside end looks the same. Yeah, they look the same. Oh, well, whatever. I'll uh, give this one another shot when we get somewhere that wasn't so dusty and maybe it just, maybe it was me. Yeah, so I bought two of these for the reason that one of these days I wanna make a video about both of them. This one is close to a hundred bucks Canadian. This was like 30 and I'm like, well, really like they kind of look the same <laughs> to me so when we get back to vancouver island we'll uh we'll put these two head to head the air b versus the cheap one and find out which one was worth it so far today <laughs> this one for the win all that backcountry driving and all my roof rack bars have stayed secure nothing has moved it's the first time i've put that new idea about securing that to my <laughs> look at it that is completely locked in there. None of these have moved at all. <laughs> Man, every time I used to stop, I'd have to take the, take the ax and just hammer the ends on there. So simple. So Rhino Rack, if you guys are watching this, you need to put a bolt system included with this thing. Give us the option to drive a bolt through there through the back because that held up super good i love my roof rack system i think it just looks good it's got a great form factor i love i, I like how things easily snap into it i just never liked how they secured it to the van so rhino rack please please this is this is so simple after all that driving let's see the ziploc bag there's no oil in the ziploc bag there's nothing coming through this line <laughs> but there's clearly oil still from under there. I'm gonna leave it for now. It's just in the floor and stuff coming forward, so there must be a pile of it maybe underneath this mat too. I'll deal with that when I get back to the island. I'm not dealing with that now. I think our little bulldog is pretty excited to be out here too. He's looking at me like, yeah, dad, about time. About time we can go to a place that's not with so many cars where I can run around off leash and pee on every single tree. I think he's stoked to be out here too. This little thing I got from Amazon is pretty awesome. Check that out. Oh, goes this way. Boom. Now I got a step to get up on the Glee My Solar. Oh, 
I'm messaging my daughter from out here in the back entry because her and I chat on iMessage on iPhone and I got Starlink, so I am connected. <laughs> Way out here. Emmy decided to pull out the cast iron Dutch oven tonight and made us an apple crumble. It was mighty delicious. But being out here in the backwoods is where this boy belongs. That's where my bulldog belongs. He loves it. I love it. We all love it. Coming up this winter, my friends, we have lots of backcountry and mountain videos coming your way. See those rolling hills back there? That's into Alberta. After that, it turns into the prairies for multiple provinces of flat land. But this way, well, those are the Canadian Rocky Mountains. On the other side of those mountains is the big, beautiful province that we are spending the entire winter in. Yup, British Columbia. mountains over there <laughs> that weather system can't be quick still pretty over there though but oh yeah I think we're about to get completely poured on Take everything crazy's ball. We're gonna need that. Ain't crazy. This is lost your ball, buddy. Ooh. Here comes the wind. It's a little stormy out there. Oh, come on, Dort. Come on, you got it. <laughs> come on. Oh, it's too windy. Okay. Yeah, a little momentum. It is definitely time to do something I haven't had the chance to do in my van yet. <laughs> ah, so exciting. I get to put on my onesie. Excited for this one. Oh my gosh, it's so comfy. Oh. Heater just got nice and warm and it feels good. My hands are getting chilly out there. Mr. Cruzy just had some food. Cruzy, what you? He's so sad, bro. And now he's all nice and cozy in the bed here. And what? What? <laughs> Where did it all go, bro? Like. That was like literally two minutes ago. No way. Like that weather system is completely gone. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I put a onesie on and this is really what happened. Alberta, your, your weather systems are awesome. They roll in and they just be a little bit of a disturbance and then boop, gone. Like boop, ha, ah, wasn't here. <laughs> I put my onesie on, I turned my heater on. Mind you, any kind of weather is onesie weather. Yes. What happened to the weather? I know. Are you serious? <laughs> you, you had everything you set up. I'm ready to go, man. I thought for sure it was going to be rainy. <laughs> now my guard like, oh, got my onesie on, I'm ready to go. Ready to watch a movie? I turned my heater on and then all of a sudden I looked out the window, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know where the cloud went. Where'd it go? I know. I was looking over there. This is insane. <laughs> Feels really good to be back in the mountains, though. I will tell you that for darn sure. I, it's the biggest thing I missed about this whole summer trip. The biggest part of it was not being near the mountains. And when we were in areas like there was a lot of backcountry in Nova Scotia, tons of it in New Brunswick, 
and uh, we ran into a bunch of it in Quebec as well. But the problem is we were in the thick of summer and the backcountry is just the hot, the deeper you go inland, the hotter it is. And when you're out there by an ocean, it's just way cooler to stay by the ocean. So we stuck around by the ocean the whole trip. But that made me miss being out here because you all know that over the years I've turned into quite the backcountry boy. And this out here is where I feel at home. And if this is the taste I have for what's coming for me this winter, I am so stoked on it. I am more excited about going back to the shop right now than I ever have. Like I'm ready to just full send it back to the island and go to my shop. If you're new to my channel, I got a shop on Vancouver Island with a four by four ambulance in it that we're gonna tinker around with this winter. It's gonna be so much fun in there. <sighs> anyway guys, we're gonna go back inside. It was really great today to see Van Life Jr. and Ruth and uh, get everything fixed up with my leak on the floor, which was insane, right? Think about it. How often do you know somebody that has rear differential oil in the front seat? I, I, I think I might be the only one where crazy stuff happens to them all the time. <laughs> anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. We're going to go have a nice relaxing night because I got Starlink out here in the backcountry. And maybe that doesn't really make me much of a backcountry boy because I'm in the backcountry and I'm going to go turn it on and watch some Netflix. Why? Why? Because I can. I'm a modern day backcountry boy. Okay, guys. <laughs> See ya.